so hi my name is Siti Arsa so today I will be talking about type of module amplitude modulation so the first one is double side band uh, suppressed carrier is a type of amplitude modulation in which the carrier uh, is suppressed and the only the upper and the lower side band are transmitted this is achieved by multiplying the modulation signal uh, with the carrier wave of the same frequency and then using the band pass filter to remove the carrier and one of the side bands. So this type of amplitude modulation uh, is used in communication system to reduce the bandwidth required to transmit a signal. By removing the carrier, the transmitted signal requires less power and occupies less bandwidth which make it more efficient than a standard EM. So next is a single sideband modulation. It's a type of um, amplitude modulation in which one of the sideband is transmitted along with the carrier wave or a suppressed carrier wave. Uh, this um, type of uh, moduli amplitude modulation eliminates the redundant information contained in the other sideband uh, and reducing the bandwidth required for transmission. So this modulation can be achieved in two days by filtering the one of the sideband uh, from a double sideband signal by using frequency mixer to suppress one of the sideband. So lastly is the vestigial sideband VSB modulation is also type of modulation in which one sideband is partial suppressed while the other sideband and the carrier are transmitted. This modulation is commonly used in television broadcasting where it allows the transmission of the video audio signal within a limited bandwidth. So this modulation is achieved by filtering out a portion of one of the sideband leaving a vestige of the sideband. So the filter signal can be combined with the unfiltered sideband and the carrier from form the VSP signal. So that's it for the type of um, amplitude modulation. What is modulation? Modulation is essentially a communication system procedure. We need a few basic building blocks for conversation. High frequency carrier waves are one and input signals or modulating signals are the other are used to convey information. When using a gadget to communicate from one location to another, they are necessary. Overall, the communication, the communication mechanism is needed to assist us. Our information is transformed into an electronic signal by an electronic communication system. And the electronic signal is then sent over carrier waves to its intended location. Modulation is the process of superimposing a modulating signal onto a carrier pulse. Modulation is characterized by adjusting any of a carrier wave's basic parameters in response to the modulating signal. A sine or cosine can be used to symbolize a carrier wave. Hello, so I'm going to tell you what is the meaning of amplitude modulation. So amplitude modulation is uh, one of the oldest modu uh, modulation techniques that is used in radio communications or simply just called as AM for short. So it was performed by Lando Di Mora and Reginald Fessenden with a radio telephone when this method was first created in the 20th century. So in general, amplitude modulation definition is given as a type of modulation where the amplitude of the carrier wave is varied in some proportion with respect to the modulation data or the signal. So moving on, in terms of the mechanism, amplitude modulation involves changing the carrier's amplitude. The carrier's amplitude is constant in AM, which is amplitude modulation. So the modulating information, however, takes the form of signal elements with frequencies that are either greater or lower than the carrier frequency. So the changes in the signal's overall amplitude are caused by sideband power, one of the uh, signal's sideband components. So the AM approach is completely distinct from frequency modulation and phase modulation, where the carrier signal's frequency is changed in the first case and its phase in the second.
So, in AM modulation, which is AM, the information of signals voltage for power level alters the carrier's amplitude proportionately as shown in figure 1, which I've attached here. So, um, the carrier amplitude increases and decreases in step with the application of the modulating information signal, which is a sine wave. So, during AM, the carrier frequency doesn't change. And with that being said, radios frequently use AM, which is the amplitude modulation. So for demodulation process, a transistor that serves as an envelope detector makes up the simplest AM demodulator and another form of the demodulator, the product detector can provide better demodulation but requires a complicated additional circuit. Amplitude phase Amplitude modulation is the process of changing the carrier wave's intensity in response to the modulating signal also called as the input signal. In other terms, modulation is the phenomenon of superimposition of modulating signal into the carrier wave. It can also be frequency modulation and phase modulation. Why do we need amplitude modulation? Practically speaking, modulation is required for high range transmission. Secondly, quality of transmission, and lastly, to avoid the overlapping of signals. So now I will be talking about uh, advantages and disadvantages of amplitude modulation. So the advantages of amplitude modulation is that it is easy to implement, and the modulation can be done using a few components and a circuit, and the receiver use of AM is very cheap. And then the disadvantages of amplitude modulation is that when it comes to power usage, it, it is not efficient. Efficient, and the second one is it require high bandwidth, and uh, that is equivalent to the highest um audio frequency. So the last one is noise interference is high noticeable. So that's it for advantages and disadvantages for amplitude modulation. What is the application of amplitude modulation? Amplitude modulation has fewer uses today than it did in the past, but it is still used in some transmission areas. First, broadcast transmission. Broadcasting transmission using AM are made using short, medium, and long wave bands. Amplitude modulation radio receivers are therefore simpler and more affordable to produce because AM is simpler simple to demodulate. Secondly, airband radio. Many airband users such as ground-to-air radio communications or two-way radio links for ground staff people use AM in the VHF transmission. Thirdly, single sideband. This type of amplitude modulation is used for point-to-point -point or HF radio connections. AM makes better use of the transmitted electricity and has a smaller bandwidth. Lastly, quadrature amplitude modulation, also known as QAM. AM is widely used in the data transmission across a variety of platforms, from cellular to short-range wireless connections like Wi-Fi.